So we know that the most important thing you can do for a child in primary school is to teach it to read fluently. And that starts in the early years foundation stage. Teachers need to be very clear about the phonic teaching that they are going to provide for the children whom they teach. It's absolutely essential that every child masters the phonic code as quickly as possible. And it will be very few children who can't do that. Broadly speaking, it will only be those with severe cognitive difficulties that cannot be taught the phonic code. So, successful schools, firstly, teach phonics first, fast and furious. It's very, very quick. It's a time-limited strategy to make sure every child can break the phonic code quickly. And from there, of course, comes the ability to decode words, to actually read them and to comprehend a, a larger text. It's very important that head teachers have a clear understanding of what, how phonics is being taught in their schools and that they check regularly that every child is getting what it needs. Teachers will want to assess very quickly those children who are falling behind in their phonic learning so they can intervene as quickly as possible. There's no more important intervention and assessment in the early years foundation stage than checking that children are making the right progress with reading. So what we want to do is, is make sure that, um, that reading is just a great success for children. We want them to feel that. So the books that they should use to actually build their phonic knowledge will, in the best schools, contain the phonemes that they're actually being taught at that stage. So we, we say they're phonically decodable readers. Um, it's not very helpful to send a child home with a reading book that bears no relation to anything they've done at school when they're simply not able to read it. And some parents can become frustrated and that frustration can be reflected on the child. Children need to have a rich diet of literature. And one of the ways that a teacher can do that from the very moment that a child starts in the early years foundation stage is to read regularly aloud to the class, to the group of children. And parents should do that too. I think it's important that that continues through key stage one and into key stage two. Reading aloud is one of the great joys for a teacher because you're actually opening new worlds to the class in front of you.